Publish your journey video of the day. Um, I'm working on three books right now, actually. Um, right now, I just came back from work. Um, came up with, I discovered a new topic, you know, for one of my next books. Uh, my very next book, most likely, I'm going to do about Big Bear. Big Bear Lake, California, because I have a video on that and if you search for Big Bear, one of my videos for my brand, How Expert, is on top of YouTube. Um, it's gotten almost 100,000 views, so I decided, based on that, let me create a product on that, you know, um, to monetize it. And another topic I have in mind is uh, uh, I discover another topic today, but uh, actually. One technique to find uh, topics is if you if you have a unique topic per se, you know, and um, if it, it's it, for example, um, bird watching, that's a topic. I actually published a book about that. One way to do another uh, way to uh, come up with unique topics is. Ask AI ChatGPT, for example, list me all the unique topics that has underlined and watching. So if you know one topic, there's probably another hobby or topic that is has a similar phrase, similar word. So doing that technique, I just did it today, just out of out of the blue. You know, I was searching for other topics. I came up with another topic idea, and. Uh, Came up with the title, the subtitle, but don't don't just go with that phrase because there's different ways to word a topic sometimes. And then ask AI again, what's the most common term uh, for this topic? For example, I was looking for topics uh, related to uh, something underlying spotting, you know, because I have several book topics I'm going to do in the future. I did one about cloud spotting. I, to do one about plane spotting, train spotting, whatnot, and there was one called celebrity spotting. So I was like, you know what? That's pretty unique too. That's kind of fun and unique, and uh, that's kind of cool. And then based on that, I asked, like, give me the most popular term for that topic, and they said celebrity sighting. So I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to do a book on that. How expert guide to celebrity sighting. So I came up with the title, the subtitle, the table of contents, a book description for one of my next topics about celebrity sighting. People love to, you know, meet and uh, see celebrities, you know. You know, I'm in Southern California, so a lot of people, in, you know, in Hollywood and L.A., they, they like that. So all across the world. So, so you know, when I search on Amazon, celebrity sighting for books, there's like only like 10 books. There's not a lot of competitors. So I say, you know what, I'm going to do that topic. Let's go for it. And uh, that's one of the topics I'm going to do. Another unique topic I'm going to most likely do is a topic called plane spotting. Um, that's a unique topic uh, as well. Uh, I met a YouTuber. Shout out to this guy named Tony Vera in LAX. And uh, he introduced me to the topic of plane spotting. So based on that phrase, I also discovered other topics like... Um, train spotting, you know, cloud spotting, all kinds of topics. You know. So that's a one. That's another technique to find additional niche topic ideas. You know, sometimes you know you're looking for ideas and it's hard to find. Sometimes, right? Well, just type in whatever unique topic you have, and then put in, ask AI. Hey, is there any other topics? with a similar phrase, you know? And AI, ChatGPT, for example, will give you a list of topics. That's why I just came up with like, I have like three to five topics, potential topics I can go with moving forward, you know? You know? And as an A to Z publisher, meaning like a publisher who publishes all topics from A to Z, I'm thinking about doing it this way now. Instead of going for all unique topics, I wanna kind of make it diversified, you know, mix it up, you know? 
I want to do some books that topics that are unique topics. I love unique topics because there's less competition. And I also want to do topics that are my best sellers. I also want to do topics that are general core categories of life. And I want to do t topics as well uh, to improve my low quality books. books I, book topics I did in the past that didn't get the best results. I want to do better books on those topics as well. So my plan is if I can just do two, my, my current rate is about, current pace is about two books a week. If I'm really focused, you know, I'll co cover all those four types of categories. Two book, if I do two books a week, eight books a month, you know, two books, the first week I can do unique topics. The next week I could do my best sellers. The next week I can do core categories. The next week I could do my lower quality book topics. Uh, redo the uh, books on the lower, lower, lower quality books that I did in the past. Uh, so I could cover all bases. So that's that's kind of a thought I had yesterday. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do that because I'm so I'm a publisher. Like I want to publish every single topic, but sometimes I go this way and that way like sometimes I'm like let me let me just go for the best sellers and the next day I'm like let me, I got I gotta do this book too I gotta do this too so in order for me to be able to cover all aspects all core category all categories as best as I can why not mix it up mix it up okay so and uh, and then after that I'll analyze the results what type of books are doing the best is it the best seller topics you know, is it the uni topics? Is it, you know, is it core categories? Or is it something else, you know? So we will see. Um, you know, I want to do books, redo books, new books on the topics I did in the past that didn't come out really well. Maybe one star, two star reviews because uh, I want to do justice for those books and those are not bad topics sometimes I pick great topics but the book quality was not good because you know your first books are your worst books in the beginning as a publisher and an author and whatnot but now with AI I want to be able to quit create five star quality books on all topics A to Z so that's my thought of the day moving forward thanks for watching I gotta go I'm looking forward to publishing my next books it's gonna be about next book's gonna be about Big Bear, Big Bear Lake, California. Um, next one after that, maybe Celebrity Sighting. Next one after that, Plane Spotting. Next one thing after that, maybe a uh, Train Spotting. But there's a different word for Train Spotting. I'm not just going to go with uh, the topic. I'm not just going with go with the keyword that I think is popular. I want to ask AI and verify. Hey, what's the most commonly used term word for this topic? Sometimes it's not. There's another word for train spotting. It's like railway, rail fanning or rail fan, rail fanning. I discovered it today. So I'm not go with that type of uh, keyword. I don't want to do the same approach. Just go with whatever is the most popular term, keyword purposes, you know. But uh, those are some ideas how to come up with more topics and thoughts of the day as an independent publisher. Thanks for watching the video. Go check out my website, howexpert, howexpert.com, okay? How Expert publishes how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts and AI. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Take care. And most importantly, take action.